atom is the smallest unit of an element. It is what most matter is made up of. Every atom has a nucleus, and inside the nucleus there are protons, neutrons, and electrons. Atoms with different combinations of protons, neutrons, and electrons make for a different element. The only time the element stays the same when it is changed is when it has a standard amount of protons but a different amount of neutrons. This is called an isotope. Most isotopes are stable, meaning that they stay the same forever, but some are unstable, which means that over time they can change. These are called radioisotopes. Unstable radioactive isotopes, more commonly known as radioisotopes, are isotopes of decay forming different atoms by emitting radioactive particles. Radioisotopes can be used in a variety of ways, but one very important use for them would be using them medicinally. An example of a radioisotope used in hospitals is called cobalt-60. Cobalt-60 emits beta and gamma rays and is most commonly used to treat tumours with medical ionising rays. Cobalt-60 is a very reliable source of cancer treatment. Although there are fewer side effects to using this radioisotope than other forms of radiotherapy, they are disadvantages nonetheless. Too much exposure to cobalt-60 is fatal and can easily kill a person due to high levels of radiation being emitted. Also, because it emits iron radiation, too much exposure to cobalt-60 can sometimes result in causing cancer as well as treating it. Of course, the benefits of using cobalt-60 include the fact that it can be used on any part of the body because of its precision. That being said, the risk of getting cancer from the isotope decreases slightly because of this precision, meaning greater amounts of radiation can be exposed to a specific location, the tumor, with less damage to the surrounding healthy tissues and organs. Cobalt-60 is most commonly used for treating brain tumors and is one of the most advanced forms of cancer treatment available.